sharing the gospel with all nations. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 to 20 Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew chapter 28 concludes with Jesus appearing to his disciples after his resurrection. He commissions them to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus promises to be with them always, even until the end of the age. And today, I want to share a message of encouragement that relates to the verses found in Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20. These words of Jesus hold great significance and carry a powerful message for all of us. Let us reflect on them and allow them to inspire us in our faith journey. Jesus said, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. These words are a call to action. A call to go out into the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ with others. In this busy and hectic world we live in, it can be easy to forget our purpose and get caught up in our own concerns. But Jesus reminds us that we are not meant to keep this message to ourselves. We are called to go out and make disciples to share the incredible love and grace that we have found in Jesus. You may not feel equipped or qualified, but remember, Jesus is with you always, even in the midst of your fears and doubts. His power and presence will guide and empower you as you fulfill this great commission. Additionally, Jesus says to baptize believers in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Baptism is a symbol of new life and a public declaration of faith. It is a beautiful moment to witness as people express their commitment to following Jesus. But Jesus doesn't stop there. He tells us to teach these disciples to observe all that He has commanded us. It is not enough to simply share the message. We must also help others grow in their understanding of God's Word and encourage them in their walk with Him. This involves being patient, kind, and supportive as we guide others on their spiritual journey. Remember, it's not about our own abilities or achievements. It's about surrendering to God's plan and allowing Him to work through us. Let's pray. Lord, grant us the strength to go forth and make disciples of all nations, teaching and baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May your guidance be our compass as we share your love and truth with the world. Amen.